Hello, hello, beautiful Geminis. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new, I welcome you to the channel. It's a great community on the Gemini uh, channel, and I appreciate your likes. I appreciate your comments and your subscriptions. Know that it really helps me connect to your energy. So thanks for that, Gemini. Let's find out what the messages are for Gemini. What about Gemini? What's going on for Gemini? What do you want to reveal to Gemini? What are the things that will be important for Gemini at this time? Spirit, help Gemini understand what's going on. Help Gemini receive messages that will give them clarity. Joy and stability. It's like once releasing something, you've got a new opportunity. It's like that brings you in joy and stability. It's like getting clear and releasing something. It brings you in new opportunity, joy and stability into your life. So I think that's exactly what Gemini is going through. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. What's going on? Somebody is seeing something crystal clear. Spread your wings. Your dreams are coming true. It's new. It's new vitality. Work. Listen. It's like you put in a dedicated effort. And it's like, I don't know, maybe somebody didn't listen. Somebody did listen loud and clear. It's new. Dreams are coming true. Blossoming. You're going to blossom. Mm. Listening to your guides. Listening to your inner self. Opportunity. New opportunity. You're shining. Seek just by seeking the truth. Something that's balanced. It's equal. Change. It's a change. It's like once you release something, something new is you're balanced in your own energy. This is masculine and feminine energies being in perfect balance. Share the love. Because someone's making a, a move here on Gemini, moving toward being connected. Just relax, just breathe. You're receiving a well-deserved reward. Communication. Yeah. Somebody had to face their darkest fears here. Somebody faced their darkest fears. End of a cycle. Beginning of a new cycle. Giving and receiving equally. Someone was seeking some kind of daydreams and decisions. Clarity of belief. It is. It's brand new. It's like somebody had to face their darkest fears. And once they release this, got clear and release this, you got building on a brand new foundation here. This is brand new love for Gemini. Like new, new. Yeah. And it's like someone was feeling helpless and hopeless. And... Maybe they just weren't communicating or weren't listening to what their guides were telling them, but it is success and growth here. Following your intuition. I don't think they were listening to their intuition. And it's like simply love. Choose your battles. It's like take the lead. Is somebody 
just like was strengthening a bond with someone else, went seeking the truth. All I can tell you is you're shining, you're blossoming. Success and growth is here. Hmm. Tell me about Gemini. Deception. Someone was wearing a false mask. It's unrequited love. No attraction there. It's like it's in reverse. But it's telling Gemini to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you in romance. And there is, it's new. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. But there is no attraction here. It was unrequited. Religious factors, your love life. There could have been just too many differences. Religious factors or spiritual paths. Or just simply too many differences. But somebody was being deceptive. It was unrequited. Honeymoon card is here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So it looks like this is done. Gone. I think that Gemini is open to new love. Yep, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, or someone did. Yep, finances, career, getting in the way of this situation. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, it, gone. And you're open to new passion. Hmm. The situation involves marriage. So, this person could have been married. Or you're getting married. Separation. You deserve love. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Worth waiting for. Calling in a new soulmate. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So that's what went on in the past. I think you're calling in a brand new soulmate. Getting to know each other. It's new. This situation over here was all about codependency. Finances, codependent with finances, it could have involved a marriage or, or someone was in another connection. And it's almost as if 
they didn't want to leave it because of career, because of finances. It was unrequited, but it's like, it's all deceptive. Someone had to face their darkest fears here, feeling helpless and hopeless. Well, they're not helpless and hopeless. They're staying together because of finances or codependency or children or whatever. Tell me about it. No one is helpless and hopeless. Yeah, it's new love coming in. A new person. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. And maybe that's what this person did. But you've got new, true love. Romance of a lifetime. Children are involved over there. I knew it. They're making up all the excuses. Oh, children, codependency. There's all kinds of unrequited love here. Uh, free yourself from control issues finances, religious factors, they got all the excuses as to why this situation didn't work. So it's like, how can you work with somebody who lives in deception, who is too afraid to leave a codependent situation? This is codependency. This is brand spanking new love. It's like, oh, I can't I can't leave I if they were in a marriage or in another relationship that they were hiding from Gemini. It's like, oh, I can't leave it because of finances. Oh, we can't leave it because of kids. We got to stay together because of the kids. We got to stay together because of finance. Oh, they're code. It's codependent. They got all the excuses as to why they did what they did. Okay, but it is a deception. Period. Even though there's no attraction there, it's unrequited. So, separation is here. What choice do you have when you're dealing with that? helpless and hopeless acting like that you know this person is like feeling like they're a victim somehow because they're in this situation well who put them there they did who would stay for the sake of the kids who would stay for the sake of finance who would stay in a loveless situation. And that's what this was. That is why it is not together. <laughs> Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is re returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Freedom. Live wild and free. Well, typical for Gemini. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Flow. Find an easier path forward. Surrender to the outcome. And release your expectations. Just go with the flow. Look, I'm not staying in this kind of situation. It is truly unhealthy for me that's what Gemini is saying. I can't make this work. How can I make this work? This person has all the excuses as to, yeah, hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look forward to the light. So, done. Period. That's what Spirit's saying. Any more messages for Gemini? Tall tale, Pinocchio card. 
deception, lies, the power of purpose, in perfect harmony. Keep your ears open. Work on roots of abundance. It's solid, new solid foundation. Making planting roots with something that is, that you can rely on, that you can depend on. You can't depend on someone who's telling you lies. Has got all these excuses. It finishes grand. Some you're getting a higher perspective, a higher view, and you're gonna blossom and shine and in perfect harmony it all comes together. This has all been exposed and revealed. Okay? It was because of the divine. The divine is like interceding here, sees all, knows all. Sacred reverence, it's like setting yourself free. I can't do this, okay? I need to find the perfect match for me, the one who holds the key to my heart. And it looks like you've already bumped into them or going to by freeing yourself. Don't want to have like a close encounter with somebody like, you know, coming in and then returning like that. It's open to discovery. Take a deep breath. So you're open to new love and it's coming in. Great big love. Gemini. I'd be shocked if Gemini wasn't already in this new relationship. Like it could just be coming in. <laughs> or you're already in it. Someone you can grow with. Yeah, you're dating again. You're getting out there mingling. This person has faced their darkest fears. I'm saying right now, that's why things are in a separation. Celebration, they could have been married or coupled with somebody already. And it was unrequited love here. Marriage could have been married, but this is you. Now, someone's seen you as marriage material. Yes, they are. You're celebrating something. You're dating again. You're going out having fun. It's like something solid. Yeah, lighthearted energy. I'm free. It's like I'm free at last. Laying down the burdens. Who wants to carry ten wands? It's like I'm packing my bags. I'm moving on. I can't carry this heavy weight. And all it does, it's too many obstacles, challenges, competition. Who needs it? I need to be happy, Gemini says, and you're getting it. Now, did this person return to their past? They could have returned to their past. I'm thinking that they did. To someone who they were in union with. That they didn't see. You're just on a new beginning. Seeking the truth, seek the truth, and ye shall find it. Well, somebody did. The truth is, 
They're following their destiny. This is a wish granted, a wish fulfilled. Someone, it's like, when you stepped out of this situation, Gemini, you get a wish granted. This person may have returned to someone who they thought was their wish fulfillment. Either way, still hanging on to that heart chakra. Tower, boom, done. Someone's now single, confident, dating again, freed themselves. It's like being set free. That was a heavy burden. Ten wands. Communication. Yeah. It's like this person was dragging their feet because... They were lying. Following your intuition. Well, no. Everything has been exposed and revealed. New opportunities. Opportunity beckoning. Take it as it resonates. Gemini's, just listen to your spirit guides. Equal. Mm -hmm. Equal giving and receiving of love. Not going to be breadcrumbed. You know, no thank you, Gemini says. Well, hmm. setting boundaries. Somebody crossed the boundaries. Okay, and it's like... This person wasn't giving. They were thinking with their head and not their heart. This person was freely giving. So it's like... Lessons learned. They could have been in a prior commitment. Okay? Decision. Being made, being at a crossroads again. Somebody learnt a bunch of lessons here, that's all I know. And somebody is trying to make a decision to take action. Or the actions they took, they're receiving judgment for. Again, it's a decision. A spiritual judgment. They're receiving judgment. Sleepless nights, stuck energy, end. All the masks have fallen off. Deceptions have been re revealed. Somebody was telling a tall tale. They were manipulating. Ace of Wands. You're getting a new beginning, Gemini. This person's focus was manipulating for like passion or sex. Okay, so something they did, the masks have fallen off. Yeah, because they were like uh, undecided who they wanted. So it's like kaboom. Third party. third party situation whatever is interfering and in this case what was interfering there was children issues there was financial issues probably prior commitments 
family situation. That's why they were dragging their feet about a commitment because they couldn't choose between the two. Hmm. Gemini says, well, this is not good for me. <laughs> and it's like somebody, it's another three again. So it's like they were collaborating with someone else. They could have returned to someone from their past. Um, just saying somebody got hurt somebody got wounded Gemini's just like heartbroken third party situations moving forward walking away rejection here Why? Because they were just in it for the sex. It was all about their sacral chakra. Yes, it was. Passions. That's why they couldn't choose. They probably had several options. And Gemini goes, well, I'm not going to be one of your options. You know, not happening. Chose someone else. But... Soulmate connections here. Family obligations. Somebody could have got pregnant. Because the emperor was in temptation. Hiding that he was doing this to get attention. He's a attention seeker. Gemini is like, I needed somebody who was stable like me, confident like me. Truth has been revealed. Somebody got an epiphany moment about a child. They were in a family situation. Leaving someone out in the cold. Bunch of deception. Yeah, to rekindle something that they had in the past so planted seeds love instability wasn't thinking immature energy head over heart decisions unstable too unstable gemini too unstable so gemini decides i need real love and I'm going to invest in myself. But they went spying. Saw some sort of truth. That somebody invested. Was invested in a love situation somewhere else. Ghosting. Change. Justice. Karmic justice being played out. Confident, strong on a new beginning, balanced. What a story. So it's like, Gemini, whatever you've experienced, I can tell you that it was a good change. I can tell you it, it freed you. This was nothing but a heavy burden. You freed yourself for new love to attract the love that you deserve. Spirit said you deserve love and you're getting it. Take care.